One of the questions that I constantly see are people asking if they can get into cybersecurity without a degree. And I'll be honest, that is a pretty good question and it all depends. Let's talk about it. Nowadays, it seems that everybody wants to get into cybersecurity, whether that is due to its attractive compensation or maybe they really enjoy cybersecurity. Regardless of the reasoning, there are some steps that one must take in order to be successful in this field. One of them is not a degree, believe it or not, and I'll explain. A degree is absolutely nice to have and I will always recommend someone that is coming into this field to have one. But if they do not have one or if they have one that is not relevant to cybersecurity, that is okay. It is not the end of the world. I've worked with many people who do not have a relevant degree at all and they excel in their job. So I truly hope that this provides you with some inspiration if you're in the same boat as them. You might ask, okay, if I don't need a degree or if I have a non-related degree, what should be my next step to get into this field? You want to learn the following. First is networking fundamentals. Learn the ins and outs of networking, protocols, and how data travels across the internet. The more you learn about this topic, the better you will become in understanding how to interpret the data and how you can protect an organization from potential threats. Second is operating system fundamentals. Learn how computers work, what are file systems and processes, along with how to use and navigate Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Where do these operating systems store their logs and how do permissions work on each of these? Third is security fundamentals. What is CIA and why does this matter? What about authentication and authorization? What are the different security solutions out there that can help detect, protect, and respond to security threats? Learn the different threats an organization can face, such as malware and social engineering, along with how to reduce the risk against these threats. The fourth one is hands-on experience. How do you apply theory to practical experience? That is where hands-on labs come into play. There are many free resources out there that offer hands-on labs so you can start obtaining experience without spending any money. You might ask, all right, cool, that is great. Where can I go and learn these topics? And yes, even if you don't have a degree or non-related degree, that does not mean you stop learning. The first resource that you can take are online courses and certifications. Platforms such as Coursera, Udemy, Cybrary, and many others offer courses and certifications in cybersecurity. I've created a video on where you can go to get free training to help you on this journey. You eventually would wanna get your hands on Security Plus because that certification. The second one is free challenges. Resources such as Cyber Defenders, Hack the Box, and Capture the Flag challenges are available to help you obtain hands-on experience. As mentioned previously, this is necessary to allow you to apply theory that you learned to real-world challenges and situations. The third one is books and YouTube. You don't have to spend a lot of money on courses to obtain the knowledge to be successful in the field of cybersecurity. Although spending money will fast track you compared to let's say reading, However, as some are not in the financial position to afford courses, books, and YouTube is a cheaper alternative to learning the material. This next piece is extremely important and I highly recommend you take it seriously if you are truly interested in this field. And that is networking with others. The first resource is LinkedIn and social media. You want to create a strong LinkedIn profile. Highlighting your skills and projects. Connect with professionals and join relevant groups and participate in discussions, even if you don't know the answer. The second is attend local meetups and conferences. You want to attend local cybersecurity meetups and conferences. Networking in person can open up opportunities that you might not even find online. As an added bonus, you might even get some free merch if you attend these conferences as well. The third one is online communities. Join online communities such as the subreddit cybersecurity, Twitter discussions, or even Discord communities. You want to engage with professionals and share your knowledge. 
The last thing I want to talk about is showcasing your work. Since you don't have a degree to showcase, having a strong portfolio becomes even more critical. You want to showcase your projects, and this can be displaying personal projects, capture the flags, achievements, or contributions to open source projects, as this demonstrates not only your practical skills, but both your writing and communication skills. If you don't have any projects that you have done or participated in a CTF, that's okay. You can think about sharing tutorials on how to set up a tool, a particular topic in cybersecurity that interests you, or even a walkthrough that you have completed from those hands-on labs from let's say Cyber Defenders or Hack the Box. It's all about gaining practical skills, building a strong network and showcasing your abilities through your portfolio. Keep learning and don't be afraid to take unconventional paths to success. That is it for the video and I hope you found it informative. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.